Myra is one of the best studied stars in the sky, yet it's kept a stunning secret that scientists have only just discovered in the glow of ultraviolet light. The Hidden Universe Showcase explores exciting new results in astronomy with your host, Dr. Robert Hurt. Today, the Hidden Universe is taking a break from our usual Spitzer Space Telescope discoveries in the infrared part of the spectrum. Instead, we're moving to the other side of visible light. NASA's Galaxy Evolution Explorer is an Earth-orbiting telescope with an ultraviolet eye to the universe. The ozone layer in our atmosphere screens out most of the incoming ultraviolet light. That's great for cutting down on sunburns, but it means astronomers need space-based telescopes, like Galax, if they want to see what's going on out there. And what's going on turned out to be quite a surprise when a team led by Dr. Chris Martin of Caltech stumbled across this ultraviolet marvel. Do you think it's a comet? At first glance, so do a lot of astronomers, but it's nothing so ordinary. Comets which travel within our solar system are seldom longer than the distance between the Earth and Sun. This spectacular discovery surrounds the star Myra and spans 13 light years. That's three times further than from us to the next star. What's pretty cool about this result is not only was it unexpected, it was kind of an accident. Dr. Mart Seibert, part of the research team, explains. Galax's primary mission is, is to map the entire sky in the ultraviolet. When this discovery for Myra was made, we weren't specifically targeting Myra. It just happened to be one of our fields of view. So when the images came down and we just happened to be going through them, we noticed this very bizarre nebulosity around it. It was quite a surprise because nobody expected to see anything in the ultraviolet around Myra and nobody expected to see a tremendously long 13 light year tail behind Myra either. So what do we know about Myra and why would it have such a unique tail? It's a well-known variable star which appears red to the naked eye when it's bright enough to see. Even though it's only 20% more massive than the Sun, Myra is so large that it would swallow even the orbit of Mars. Because of their size, red giants lose their gravitational grip on their outer layers, blowing material away in a kind of stellar wind. Over the course of tens of thousands of years, this material forms a trailing tail. We see this tail because Myra is moving unusually fast relative to its neighboring stars. Where its wind slams into the local interstellar medium, a leading shock wave, or bow shock, forms. The researchers theorize that hot electrons from the shock mix with the wind and stream around and behind, forming the tail. Excited hydrogen molecules begin to glow. Hydrogen naturally emits in the ultraviolet, and so is just waiting to be discovered by Galax. In fact, I'd like to think of Myra as a true shooting star. Most people, when you say shooting star, think of meteoroids burning up through the atmosphere with a very brief flash of light. But this is a true shooting star, a star traveling supersonically, creating a bow shock, and leaving a luminous tail behind it, uh, also a turbulent wave. Since our own sun will become a red giant in several billion years, Myra gives us a chance to look into our own system's future. By looking back along Myra's tail, we see progressively older material tracing its outflow history back as much as 30,000 years. It's a kind of fossil record of the final breaths from a dying star. So what we see with Myra is a dramatic example of the recycling of stellar materials. Uh, the tail is leaving the seeds for new planets and new stars, uh, the elements of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, all laid out for us almost like a ticker tape that we hope to be able to study in a way that we've never really been able to study this process before. It's remarkable that even after 400 years of scientific scrutiny, Myra still harbors astounding secrets. Missions like the Galaxy Evolution Explorer open our eyes to a whole new way of seeing what's all around us, and sometimes let us catch a shooting star. For the Spitzer Science Center, I'm Dr. Robert Hurt, reminding you there's a hidden universe just waiting to be discovered. The Hidden Universe is produced by the Spitzer Science Center at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. The Spitzer mission is managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory.